Hello and welcome everyone to the Carnival Vista review. In this video I will be going over everything you need to know about the Vista so let's get right into it. To begin with, the Carnival Vista's maiden voyage was in 2016. She weighs 134,000 tons, is 1,062 feet long, and has a capacity close to 4,000 passengers and 1,500 crew. As of the time this video is being recorded, the Vista along with the Horizon and the Panorama will be the largest Carnival ships in the fleet. That being said, the Carnival Vista is quite large, especially compared to some of the past Carnival cruise ships, and a lot of the other cruise ships out there sailing with other companies. Now let's go over the many and various types of staterooms that can be found on board the Vista. The most basic and common form of room on board the Vista would be interior rooms. The room pictured here is what a lot of the rooms look like, but keep in mind they come in different layouts and have different amounts and styles of beds. Also in the interior stateroom category, there are other kinds of rooms like this one, which is a Cloud9 Spa interior room. And another style of interior room would be the Havana Bar interior cabins, which are very nice. And finally, there are the Family Harbor connecting staterooms, which connect to each other so families can easily interact with each other and also have access to the Family Harbor Lounge. The next category of staterooms we have are the Ocean View staterooms. The least common of these staterooms are porthole staterooms. There's very few of these on the ship and they just have two small porthole windows. Next we have the regular Ocean View staterooms which also come in the variants of deluxe Ocean View staterooms and then family harbor Ocean View staterooms. And of course next we have the most popular category of stateroom, balcony staterooms. These like all the other styles of rooms also come in many different forms and with types of beds and layouts. The cabin pictured here is just a regular balcony. And next you have the Family Harbor balcony rooms, which are cove balconies, which means that they are balconies that are the closest to the waterline. And of course you have your Cloud9 spa balconies and then your Havana balconies. And finally you have your Havana cabana balcony rooms, which have balconies that go onto the lanai deck. These rooms have exclusive access during the day to the back of the ship and the Havana bar, which also has two hot tubs and a pool. And to finish the stateroom category, we have the suites, starting with the junior suite. These rooms are much larger than their counterparts and also have huge balconies to go along with them. Along with the junior suite, you also have the Cloud9 Spa suites, along with the Havana suites. There are two types of Havana suites. There's Havana suites with balconies and the Havana Cabana suites, which also have the cabanas, but they are much larger. And finally, we have the mother of all suites and staterooms, the Grand Suite. There's only a few of these, so if you can somehow afford this, make sure to jump right onto it. Now here comes the fun stuff. Let's get into the entertainment that the Vista has to offer. To begin with, the Vista has a very large pool deck like the Dream Class and has plenty of deck space and bars and restaurants around the pool. The Lido also features Carnival's signature seaside theater to play movies and whatnot, and of course Carnival's ginormous waterworks water park right by the pool. Pro tip, please ride the orange slide. You won't regret it, I promise. Anyways, there's also the Tides pool at the aft with two hot tubs and lots of food around it, which is always good. And that brings us to Sports Square, where there's lots of mini golf, outdoor yard games, and other stuff like pool and the ropes course. In between here in the giant funnel, there's the basketball court, which also hosts dodgeball, volleyball, and a bunch of other fun stuff. Right behind the basketball court, there's the outdoor fitness area, which is actually really fun. And all of that brings us to the star of the show here on the Vista class, which is the Skyride. These are two suspended bicycle tracks that go around the back and around the middle of the ship, and you can race your friends or do whatever, and it's actually a lot more intimidating than it looks, but it is super, super fun. The best time to go on the sky ride is on port days because during sea days it can get kind of crowded. And next we have the casino if you can call that entertainment if you know what you're doing unlike myself. The great thing about the Vista's casino other than the fact that it's very large and extensive is that it has lots of glass around it so the smoke can't escape and go to other parts of the ship like it does on other cruise ships in the fleet. Right down the hall from the casino is Club 02 for kids 15 through 17 and also the club on this ship is massive and right next to that is the Skybox Sports Bar so you can catch up on your favorite team and game and then right down the hall from that is the Limelight Lounge where lots of the comedy shows are hosted. I also highly recommend the comedy shows and one of the shows on this boat I actually fell out of my seat I was laughing so hard. In the center of the ship, a deck above all of this, there's the Ocean Plaza, which is a great meeting place, a place for karaoke, and it's also connected to the Pixels Gallery where you can purchase your pictures and get something to drink at the Java Blue Cafe. The main central location on the ship is the Vista Atrium. 
Here is a bunch of stores like the Fun Shops and the Cherry on Top Candy Store. The atrium is also home to the LED funnel that changes pictures throughout the cruise. Another hot entertainment spot on board the Vista is the Liquid Lounge. This room can host anything from the dance club to the Hasbro the Game Show or Playlist Productions and many other things. Another signature feature of the Vista is its IMAX theater. The theater also plays up-to-date movies that are currently in theaters on land. Along with Club O2, there's also Camp Ocean, which is for infants through 11-year-olds. Here, the kids can partake in age-appropriate activities while the parents go out and do parent things without them. For kids 12 through 14, there's Circle C, which is not a daycare service, but a club where the kids can do fun stuff appropriate for their age. There's also an onboard arcade next to Circle C. Lastly, there is the Havana Pool at the very back of the ship, which is open to all Havana cabin guests. This was just a broad overview of the entertainment on board, but there is way more that you can find to do on the ship. The final category of this video will be the dining venues that are on board the Vista. Although this isn't really a restaurant, it's kind of cool. This is the Red Frog Pub, where Carnival brews their own beer in-house. During the afternoon, you can go to the Seafood Shack, which serves seafood. Personally, I've never eaten here, but I've heard they have very good lobster rolls. The next specialty restaurant on board is Bonsai Sushi, which, as you guessed it, probably serves sushi. Another fan favorite on board is the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Besides the upcharge this restaurant has, it is very, very, very good. A popular spot on board is the Java Blue Cafe, which has coffee, shakes, and pastries. The next and arguably most popular restaurant on board is Guy's Burgers, and oh my god, these things are so good, I really, really recommend you eat as many of these as you can before your cruise is over. And if you're not into burgers, then go right across the ship and there's Blue Iguana Cantina, which has tacos and burritos. Along with Guy's Burgers and Blue Iguana on the Lido deck, there's the Lido Marketplace, which is the open buffet style restaurant with things such as Pizzeria del Capitano, which serve pizza and ice cream 24 hours a day. And finally, there's the Horizons and Reflections main dining rooms. These are open every night and they have the your time dining or assigned time dining options for whatever kind of food you're in the mood for and it is all super good and there's also a very fun atmosphere as you can see here. Additionally, I have to say that this is probably the most beautiful dining room out of any carnival ship I've ever been on and it had some of the best food by far. And that's a wrap for the review of the Carnival Vista. There is just so much stuff to do and see on this ship, and there's probably lots of it that I didn't even mention in this video, and the best way for you to figure all that out is to go on this ship yourself. Personally, as an avid Carnival cruiser, I've been on lots of cruises and lots of ships, and this one definitely holds my number one spot, and I really recommend that you go out and try it sometime. This ship really is just the perfect size and has something to do for anyone and everyone, all ages, no matter who you are. And on top of that, you get to enjoy all of this while going to a tropical destination or wherever you plan on going on your cruise. And with all of that said, thank you all so much for watching and thank you for supporting the channel. I will see you all in the next one.